What's up, Rage and Nation? How's it going? This is Alex Yoon. You're watching a Rage and Ronin review. I got a review for you. I checked out The Protégé. This is the latest action thriller from director Martin Campbell. He directed two great James Bond films. That is uh, Goldeneye, starring Pierce Brosnan, as well as Casino Royale, starring Daniel Craig. And I freaking love Casino Royale. A really great um, James Bond film. I still love Skyfall the most. That wasn't directed by Martin Campbell. Martin Campbell also directed the two Zorro films, The Mask of Zorro and The Legend of Zorro, and he directed The Terrible Green Lantern, but he directed the really great Jackie Chan film, The Foreigner. Anyways, I was definitely looking forward to The Protégé. Uh, it stars Maggie Q, uh, Samuel Jackson, and also Michael Keaton. And here's the crazy part. Every single one of these actors have played the roles that that we've seen uh, that are in this movie. Maggie Q has played an assassin before. Michael Keaton has played, uh, uh, um, uh, I guess, an assassin or somebody who works for a, an, a, an assassin agency. And Samuel Jackson has trained assassins before or, or trained, um, well, he trained the Avengers or he, he recruited the Avengers. But in any case, all these actors have played very similar roles so technically speaking they're actually really good at it <laughs> which they are you know Maggie Q actually pulls it off quite well as an assassin Michael Keaton is uh, uh like charming to watch I love watching him actually Michael Keaton's really good in a lot of films that he's in and Samuel Jackson is Samuel Jackson he just he's just fun to watch in any movie anyways so we have this uh um like a uh, femme fatale film uh the protege and Maggie Q is an assassin. Samuel Jackson trains uh, trains her, and uh, Michael Keaton is the adversary. And even though I'm really looking forward to it, and even though there was some decent fight scenes, this is a film that I swear we've seen too many times. <laughs> we've seen this type of film before. You know, we have the female assassin does the job, eventually gets burned by the agency that hired her or um, there's, a, there's a team that's going after her for whatever reason, maybe they grow conscience or whatever. In any case, we've seen this type of thing so many times and I'm, you know, it, it wasn't that exciting for me. I did enjoy the action though. Uh, this was R-rated action movie, pretty hard R-rated action. Um, I did enjoy the action. It wasn't as hard hitting as a lot, some other films that we've seen, for example, like John Wick or, or um, some more brutal uh, uh, action films. Uh, but in any case, uh, this was still pretty decent. I think my biggest issue is just that there's so many cliche tropes in there, cliche story tropes in here that it, it feels so predictable. Uh, it, it, you know, it feels like a lot of these types of films uh, we've seen before. Uh, and, and one that comes to mind is, uh, 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 well, this one's not really like it, but the equalizer where, you know, you have a, a team go after the main, the main assassin or main character. Um, in any case, it just doesn't feel like anything new. And it, I don't think it was trying to be anything new at all. I think that they just wanted to put these characters together. I haven't seen Maggie Q in a while, so it's great to see her back doing, doing action, uh, action films. Uh, uh but, uh, I gotta say, besides the chemistry that I actually really enjoyed between Michael Keaton and Maggie Q, and besides the decent action, I don't think this film is, like, I don't think this film is that great. I don't think this film is good. I think it's really average at best. It's like very, very average. So because of that, I'm gonna give it a five out of 10. Um, it's, um, it's okay. It's okay. Five out of ten, it's an okay film. It's a very average film. I think some people will like it. Some people are fans of the genre. Um, definitely, if you're a fan of Michael Keaton, I think you'll really like this film. I think that it does have some some really cheap uh, story tropes in it, uh, meaning that like we've seen this type of thing before, and I just feel like the ending is also kind of cheap as well. Like It, it kind of cheaps it out for us. <laughs> uh, so... I don't know. I just didn't come out of the theater feeling that satisfied. It was kind of like, um, well, I saw it. There you have it. <laughs> Anyways, there you have it. Five out of 10. Uh, the Protégé um, is an average film. My name is Alex. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace.